В этом городе туристы могут найти развлечения. From unhurried walks to historical sites to extreme hiking in the mountains. Here they love to play sports and to create all conditions to develop a healthy nation. Hello, this is Terry Incognita Project. My name is Anton Fyodorov and today I'm going to tell you how to diversify your journey around the city of Almaty. In this episode you will learn how to do a morning workout at hot springs within city boundaries. If you're attracted to hiking in the mountains, you should visit the Butakovsky waterfall and see this natural wonder. And if you still have the strength, you can test yourself on the coolest zipline ride in the world. The magnificent nature of Almaty invites to hiking. This can be done in the morning and then you can still make it to your work. This is how many residents of the city begin their new day. Early in the morning, walking through the mountainous terrain near Almaty, you can meet a group of enthusiasts who play sports. People do it in a very interesting musical and even dancing form. Today, we're going to join them. It is 6.30 a.m. and I'm going to start climbing one of the picturesque locations near Almaty. I'm going to the Gorelny Gorge to tell you about this interesting place and to show you its amazing natural beauty. My journey begins with the famous Medeo skating rink. I have to go about half a kilometer to the final destination of my short journey. The first section to cover which I needed a lot of strength is the famous health stairs. Начался не самый легкий этап моего восхождения к ущелью Горельник. The hardest stage of my ascent to the Gorelny Gorge began. This is the well-known mountain staircase in front of me, which has more than 800 steps. It is considered a very worthy affair for an ordinary person like me to overcome this distance in one go. The staircase is a real place of pilgrimage for sports enthusiasts. Why is it called Health Stairs? Because there are competitions often held here. Who will climb its 843 steps faster? I admit it seems easy only at first glance. Climbing the stairs is an excellent cardio exercise during which all muscle groups have to work. Specially trained people take extra weights with them. Professional sportsmen always try to 
Professional athletes always try to breathe through their nose and exhale through their mouth. This way the body is properly saturated with oxygen and maintains a normal level of vital activity. Here, the very first and the hardest stage of the climb to Gorelnik is over. However, as it turned out, I was the only one for whom this part of the road was difficult. As I told you, the climb is rather complicated. I apologize for this wording, because for me, and I'm hiking with a light backpack, this climb is not easy. But some people are much more heroic than me. Consider this, there is a girl in front of me, she's carrying a child behind her back. And she's not at all complaining about how difficult this climb is. Hello, this is Terry Incognita Project. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. Isn't it hard for you to climb? It is. I am carrying an extra 11 kilos. But it's okay. A burden of one's own choice is not felt. Do you often hike like this? Unfortunately not, but my baby in the backpack and I are going to feel okay now. What do you usually feel before and after the hike? <laughs> a surge of energy. I could probably have run five more kilometers like this with her in my backpack. Having traveled over the first part of the journey, I found myself on a mud flow dam. It is located near Almaty at an altitude of 1700 meters above sea level. This dam was erected to protect the city from mud flows forming on the tops of the western Tenshine. Having climbed it, I came to a relatively level section of the road and a magnificent view of the mountain peaks of Medel Gorge is before me. Ten minutes of ascent is over. My body has warmed up and I'm sweating. This is Alpine Tourism in Almaty. Come to visit and you will not regret. The ascent to Gorelnik takes about 30 minutes. All the necessary conditions have been created to do this. You can hike along the mountain trails or you can choose to take this asphalt road. By the way, vehicular traffic was banned a few years ago, so as not to deteriorate the ecology of this mountain range. There are eco-buses and eco-taxis here. So if you want to get from Medeo to Chimbulak, you can have two ways. There is an environmentally friendly transport or a cable car, which is one of the longest in the world. The cable car from Medeo to Chimbulak operates all year round. It was built in 2011 specifically for the Asian Winter Games. Its length is four and a half kilometers and the capacity is 2,000 people per hour. But I have gone out of my current route, so I'm going to return to the mountain trails of Almaty surroundings. It's hard to believe that I was in the city only 30 minutes ago. I drove a car through traffic lights along broad avenues. 
30 minutes of climb, and I am in the Medeo Gorge. Если вы любите путешествовать на легке и открывать для себя новые места, if you like to travel light and discover new places, then walking up to the Gorelny Gorge is just what you need. First of all, a walk in the fresh air of the mountains is always good for your health. Secondly, all this is literally within the walking distance from the city. And thirdly, there is a special sports ground on Gorelnik itself where you can work out. Well, and a pleasant addition, here you can even bathe in the hot springs. Water rises here from the ground from a depth of 320 meters. Scientists have found that the composition of this water includes several minerals useful for humans. Therefore, Guralnik is not only a place of sports recreation but also a medical spot. There are from 5 to 800 tourists coming here every day. According to experts, water saturated with this natural gas helps heal many skin diseases, restores blood pressure, has an anti-inflammatory effect and rejuvenates. Having gathered natural energy, I set off on a journey through the mountainous surroundings of Almaty because there is still a lot of exciting things ahead of me. Continuing to explore the Almaty Mountains, I arrived in Butakovska Gorge. There is one point of interest here that tourists like to visit in winter and summer, because it looks amazing at any time of the year. I still have another 4 kilometers to travel, and then I will show it to you. My path runs through a very picturesque place. This gorge is located in the mountains of the Transili Alatau at a height of one and a half to three thousand meters above sea level. What boggles the tourist imagination first is the luxuriant nature and thick vegetation. The unique tenshine spruce, aspen, mountain ash, barberry and some apple trees grow here. Back in the Soviet times, tourist sports bases were functioning in these places, equipped with playgrounds, swimming pools and training gyms. But with the collapse of the Soviet Union, this sporting heritage turned out to be unwanted, and once large-scale facilities were passed into private ownership or became gradually collapsing local landmarks.
Часовое восхождение по горным тропам, 500 сожженных калорий. One hour climb along the mountain paths, 500 calories burned, and I'm at an amazing natural work, Butakovsky Waterfall. This place is very popular with tours, because nature has really done a great job here. I admit, the second climb in a day was hard for me. It's been a while since I overcame steep mountain paths on foot. On the way to Butakovsky waterfall, you will have to walk along the mouth of the river, strewn with massive stones, so you better wear strong shoes. But what you see at the end of your route will be an excellent reward for all the effort spent on climbing. This waterfall comes from a mountain stream which originates up there, in glaciers. The water melts and begins to descend the mountain. I wonder how many millions of years it took for nature to create this amazingly beautiful place. It's time for me to leave this amazing place to tell you about other active recreation opportunities in Almaty. Almaty is not only unique in terms of its architecture, history and natural beauty. This is a city where people love to engage in sports all year round. Many sports facilities in Almaty are adapted for people to have the opportunity to train and work out 365 days a year. Right now it's about 38 degrees outside and I'm going to invite you to come from summer into winter for a while. 
On the bypass road from the Almaty Airport, you will for sure see a huge Halik Arena Ice Palace. It was built in 2016 to become the venue for the Winter Universiade competition, which was held in Almaty as early as 2017. On the site of this complex, you can hold competitions in hockey, figure skating, short track. There are wrestling, swimming and gymnastics clubs here. But the sporting designation of this unique facility is not its only characteristic. Halik Arena is a unique building, a unique structure in our city. The facility is comprised of three blocks. This is the main rink for 3,000 seats. The multi-functionality of structures like this is the world practice. That is, we monitor it and we see it. For example, today we host a home game of Almaty Hockey Club. The next day we're going to remove the glass, protective nets, we'll spread the thermal coating on the ice surface, cover it with carpet, and the next day we're going to hold a concert, a forum, sports, cultural and entertainment events. A day later, we again dismantled all thermal coatings and again host hockey games here. This is the main advantage of the Ice Palace. A special pride of this sports facility is its ice hockey arena with dimensions of 61 by 30 meters and a capacity of 3,200 spectators. All the necessary conditions for athletes, judges, media representatives and doping control are provided here. The arena is designed in such a way that the hockey court can be transformed into a platform for many other games and individual sports such as volleyball, basketball, futsal, wrestling and boxing. In this case, ice is protected by a special thermal coating. The capacity of this complex is more than 150,000 visitors a year. The ice massive technology is unique in that it consists of several layers, 3 to 5 centimeters, some kind of sandwich. The peculiarity of our palace is that water passes through four levels of purification. What does it mean? This means the cleaner the water, the farther the skate slides. The construction itself of such multifunctional facilities requires more than just fantastic knowledge in the field of design, engineering and architecture, but also in economic management. After all, construction of the facility is not exactly cheap. It costs the state more than $60 million. Therefore, the facility must function for people every day so they can engage in winter sports here, even in the summer. Today we have seen significant growth in terms of mass sports. That is, while three years ago only six amateur hockey teams were involved, today there are more than 26. We ensure a training process for hockey players and figure skaters all year round. The mass skating season begins every year, from October the 20th to March 25th, where any guests of our city can come, hire skates and show off. This year we launch summer mass skating for the first time. There is another unique development in this complex. This is a training center for hockey players, where you can not only train on the ice, but also a special surface. We are now in the Ice Athletics Training Center for hockey players, which has no analogues in the Republic of Kazakhstan and enjoys a high demand in the market, both at the local level and in neighboring CIS countries. The complex has got artificial flooring that imitates ice. Can I train in sneakers here? You can train in sneakers. As a rule, hockey players' skills emerge from the ground. We can demonstrate it now. Daoud, this whole time I tried to understand how hockey players possess such a distant and near shots technique. Could you give me a short masterclass? The wrist throw philosophy is that being a hockey player on the ice on the court, 
I hold the stick on my left side. With a smooth, comfortable grip, I pull the puck back a little, and with a smooth hand motion forward, I start turning the puck from the hockey stick heel. And in the end, I lift my toe and throw it. This way. Why is it called a wrist throw? Because your wrists work here. When you pull the puck back from the heel, you spin it. That is, wrist play at the last moment. То есть, почему это называют кистевым броском? Потому что тут работают кисти. Когда вы оттягиваете шайбу назад, с пятки, раскручиваете, раскручиваете, то есть в последний момент играют кисти. То есть удар как So this means that a strike like in golf is considered incorrect. Yes, this is a completely different technique. The puck will go wherever you twist the stick. I aim at the top left corner. You have all the parameters of a hockey player. Slightly cover the puck with a stick. Twist from the heel. At the end, make a wrist throw from the toe. If your throw is successful, bang your stick on the ice. I got a nice throw and inspired by this little success, I'm going further to maximize the tourist and sports potential of Almaty for you. There are many unique sports facilities and sites in Almaty. One of them is the Sunkar Sky Jump Complex. It was built in 2010 and is designed for competitions of any level. Interestingly, the Sunkar Sky Jump Complex is one of the three best sky jumps in the world. This complex has more than once become a place for which the world's leading sports channels have broadcasted various competitions. In 2010, the Ski Jumping Continental Cup was held here, and in 2011 the complex hosted the Asian Games. The difference of this sports facility is that three additional sky jump hills for trainees of a junior sports school were additionally built here. More recently, a zipline ride was opened on the territory of Sunkar, a 300-meter downhill ride on steel, 10 cable. Overcoming this distance takes a few seconds because it moves at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. There are many zipline rides in the world, but the steepest slope in Almaty is 23 degrees. Therefore, the organizers intend to apply to the Guinness Book of Records. Almaty is an ideal place to travel to. There are all the conditions created here for any type of recreation. If you want a rich and unforgettable experience, you will need to visit the city. This was Terra Incognita Project. My name is Anton Fedorov, and see you in the next episodes.